Today I'm at Adventure Sports Miami and I'm going to demonstrate the drift launch. Uh, it's a way to self-launch your kite. And the drift launch is useful if you're in an area where the shoreline has dangerous obstacles such as this parking lot. We got plenty of hard surfaces, cars and rocks, so it's just safer to do the launch out into the water. First gonna run your lines like you normally would. I'm going to figure eight the lines over the bar. That way it doesn't snag on anything as we go out in the water. So you're gonna wrap all your lines just like this. Make sure you leave some slack so you're able to walk around the kite. And I'm also gonna secure the end so none of the lines pop off with this uh, little bungee cord, if you have one. So I went around the kite all the way towards the center and all the lines are underneath the kite now. Where a lot of people mess up is where they take the bar and they... If you do that, that will invert the lines and you'll have a tangle. I'm now going to hook into the chicken loop and I'm going to flip over the kite. We want all the lines, both the center and outside steering lines on top of the kite as we enter the water. I'm going to leash into the kite just for some extra security in case I do let go. The kite's not going to go anywhere. Most people mess up on the drift launch when they flip the kite because this bar will swing through those center lines and you'll get a line inversion. So be aware of where your lines are at all time. So get a safe distance from shore. If you have a long leash, you can skip this next step. Because I have a short leash, it's going to be hard to flip the kite over. So I'm going to disconnect from the kite and then leash back on once I, once I flip the kite over. You're gonna make sure all the lines are underneath the kite. They're not on top. If they are, just lift it up and shake, the, shake them off the top. Remember, it's very important to stay leashed in at this point. From here, I'm gonna unravel all the lines off the bar, let them drift underneath the kite downwind why I walk upwind. While unraveling the lines off the bar, be sure not to let the, the lines get bunched up where the leash meets the leading edge. Once all the lines are off the bar, I can disconnect the leash from the leading edge of the kite, submerge the kite a little bit to get some water on top of it to weigh it down. That way it doesn't catch wind mid drift and flip over and cause any line inversions. Be ready to hit the safety release in case an error was made. Once the kite drifts downwind of you and the lines look good, go ahead and launch the kite how you normally would. Now go ahead and enjoy your session.